Hey guys, it's Jaden. So we watched Star Wars, and I'm in my car. I uh, just wanted to talk about it because, you know, I um, gotta get that instant take type of situation. Spoilers are included, just gonna say that. I'm just gonna probably just rant about it for a little bit because, you know, I just really wanna talk about it. The whole situation with this being the last of the Skywalker saga, like, in my mind, I think that is a good thing. I think Star Wars can move on. I would love to see what Star Wars is without the Skywalkers or beyond the Skywalkers because, you know, they are not the only people in the world who can save things. Um, this film does do something I did not expect it to do, which was basically subvert everything from The Last Jedi. I honestly, now at this point, really like The Last Jedi. I believe that it was an okay film looking at it. It was kind of slow and it was weird pacing, but there was a lot of interesting there was a lot of interesting things that were introduced during the whole movie that, you know, they show up in this, but it just, some things did not. Uh, my main thing was, where the hell was that little kid from The Last Jedi? Like, I guess that whole aspect that the Force is not only just for a couple of chosen people, which you kind of see throughout the entire series that the Force, that there are Force-sensitive people out there, like the, the kid, but... The idea that the Jedi or the, the fact that people being one with the Force is not a thing. It's just a whole weird thing. Finn, which I think Finn gets very Force sensitive in this uh, movie. So I think that was an interesting situation. He really feels Rey. I don't feel like we ever got the, the answer to whatever the hell he wants to tell Rey. But I'm guessing it was like, I love you. Uh, but we never really got that from Finn. But, to be honest, kind of saw that coming. And then Poe did great. Leia died. What else happened? Um, there was a lot of things that happened in this movie. Like, you can I can't even sum this movie up. Essentially, I guess, Palpatine comes back. Kylo Ren becomes Ben Solo. And Ben Solo dies, sacrificing himself for Rey. Ray defeats Palpatine. End of story. Ray is now a Skywalker. Oh, that's the thing. Who really thought like the whole idea that Ray is a Palpatine is really the way to go? I don't know. That was really a shocker. I'm not gonna lie. Didn't see that coming. But I also thought it was because like the last film really was like your parents don't matter. It doesn't really matter at all. And there was this line in here when Kylo is talking to Rey through their, like, you know, telepathy that, yeah, I didn't lie to you. Your parents were nobody, but you're a Palpatine. Like, it just felt like, let me retcon everything we had basically, you know, discussed last film. I just want to say, like, these films, I think, are really cool to sit there and show a lot of the idea of the force and what the force can do and a lot of force oriented things because in, i feel like in prior things it was like oh i'm so tired here the force uh, but this wasn't one of those films so we got to see ray doing a lot of jumps flips kicks and tricks lightsaber action i love the fact that you know they reference the the time when luke was training leia to be a master jedi that was cool I'm gonna be honest, I kind of felt this way since the last film, the film before that. Whenever they started getting that psychic connection, I was like, oh, you bitches are linked, right? Turns out they are because they're strong force people. But I was like, the way that they kept fighting each other, I was like, oh, y'all like each other, really. Like, if y'all on the same side, y'all would be together. And you know what? Have not said this to anyone, but I felt it the entire time I was watching Last Jedi. I was like, you staring way too hard at this man with no shirt on. Him. Like, like, calm down, Ray. Kylo, you, you less than a little too, too much. And, you know, for the most part, that was just really odd to see them um, kiss in the end. But honestly, not mad at it because... At the end of the day, I saw it coming. I was like, oh, this was not unexpected. Like, obviously, you like each other. You've been fighting like you've been a couple who have differing views on, on how you should live your lives. Like, it's... To me, I just felt like I it, it felt it. I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. What's another good thing? Good thing. Mm. Mm. I don't know. It kind of... I really like this movie because 
it was very different. It was very unique. It had its own place. I think the the disappointing aspects of the fact of finding out that Ray's Palpatine was a little weird to me. But you know what? It was a good film. I sat there for about two hours just being like, wow, I'm thoroughly entertained. Thoroughly. And I'm not going to lie, cried when, you know, all of the... Um, star all of these ships came to the rebellion's rescue at the end I'm not gonna lie i cried a little bit because i was like oh wow they're not alone I'm like uh finally but yeah i don't know i i guess i i'm gonna be honest i think that's pretty much how i feel about the movie at the moment this is like a first take afterwards this is all the things that i really remember um i'm happy that you know ben solo really got to live again and kylo died because kylo was a dick but, you know, Ben Solo, what a loving guy, you know? So happy to be a Jedi. I do wonder on what the next set of trilogy is going to be. Because we know that Star Wars is not over. But the Skywalker saga is. And now that Rey Skywalker is living her best life as, you know, the only Jedi in the universe. What's next? I think the fact that the Skywalker saga has been so pivotal to the entire Star Wars brand. They're really one in the kind linked. And I can easily see like a nice, you know, tribute to like the old or the past and a, a future, you know, true trilogy. But I don't know. I can't think of anything of where they go from here or how they sit there and make things different because a lot of the whole thing with Star Wars is talking about the dualities of good and evil, even though Ryan Johnson tied this to me like it does not matter. But that duality is always dealing with war versus the, the duality also deals with oppression versus you know freedom you know the resistance versus the empire i just feel like they kind of have set up the same story twice already with one through three no not one through three the true one through three but i think they set up the same story twice already with four through six and seven through nine and i truly think that one to three is a more interesting time period to sit there and talk about because i feel like there's so much more you can do with more people more jedi but i'm pretty sure there's like a forgotten star system or somewhere far far away far far away from where they were where they can sit there and really you know discuss it the canon is there i don't know the lore is there i really appreciate it this was a worth it movie yeah, I just want to talk about my thoughts. So, anyway, that's today's video. Thank you for watching. Comment. Did you like it? Did you want to see it? Let me know. Yeah, I need to go get something to eat. So, bye.